Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another Sunday video. In this one, my friends, we're going to be testing the Mini Forum NUC XI5 Mini Gaming PC. And you might be wondering, how is this Mini? It's almost the size of your head. It's actually bigger. And Crisp's heads are very big. And not only this one. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Well, if you look at it from this perspective, it almost disappears. Look at this. How crazy is that? It's like half of a laptop, basically, in a desktop PC. But now let's go over this mini PC specs. The one that I have here, the NUC X i5, as the name suggests, has an i5 11400H CPU. That's a 6-core, 12-threaded CPU. It should be plenty for everything that you throw at it, actually. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, dual-channel, 3200 MHz CL22, laptop RAM, and for the graphics card, it has a G GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU inside of it, 6 gigs of GDDR6 VRAM. Oh boy, there is a fight happening right now. Uh, I didn't know there were raids in the middle of the river. By the way, speaking of raids, today's sponsor is Ratio. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there is also an RTX 3070 and i7 11800 h version of this, but the one that I have here is the 3060, and I'm glad I did because I already tested the 3070 laptop, so yeah, this should be fun. Fun. Now about the ports, I am actually a little bit surprised that they haven't included more ports. We got three USB type A's in the front of the device, an SD card slot, which is amazing, I really love that they included that, a headphone jack, which doubles as a microphone jack as well, and on the back we got Thunderbolt 4, HDMI, Ethernet, LAN port, and the plug for the power supply, which is external by the way. As you can see, this is the brick right here. Not too big, gets quite toasty, but that's completely normal. Oh, also in the front, we got the power button as well as a turbo button, which actually allows your CPU and GPU to run at a higher TDP. Now that's about it for the intro, I think. We covered it all. If you are interested in prices and other configurations of this, you can check the link down below in the description. And now let's get right into the game, shall we? Here we go, it's Spider-Man Remastered, 1080p resolution. DLAA anti-aliasing, no upscaling technology is being utilized right now, and the high settings preset without motion blurs. Oh wow, I forgot how good this game looked actually. So now we are in the Central Park area. Come on, can you can you swing around, please? Thank you very much. Okay, it stutters a little bit, but that's normal. I've seen stuttering issues even on my Ryzen 9 5900X uh, system with like a 3080 Ti and 3060 Ti and stuff like that. All you gotta do to avoid stuttering is to lock the FPS and uh, thankfully I can say that you can actually lock it to 60 frames per second because it does not drop from it here in the Central Park area at least. I honestly thought it would run a lot worse than this because uh, this is a very CPU intensive game and the i5 11400H, well it's a laptop CPU you know but no it's it's handling it like a champ. Now we should move on to a more CPU intensive area and we are already seeing the GPU utilization coming down by a lot, you know, it's at 70-80% GPU usage, but it's not a problem because it's still well above 60 frames per second. Oh, touched 60 right there. It touched 60, but it didn't drop, guys. Again, if you lock it to 60 frames per second, it will get rid of all of the stuttering, which is awesome. It will also lower the temperatures, you know, 78 to 80 degrees Celsius is what we're getting on the CPU and GPU. You, that's not a high temp for laptop components, honestly. It's perfectly safe, absolutely fine. And the mini PC itself is really silent, guys. It's one of the quietest PCs that I've ever heard. <laughs> Moment of truth, most intensive thing that you can do is look at the entire city from above while dropping from this building. And uh, looking at it, it's getting 70s, that's very good. And dropping from it, we're finally dropping from 60 frames per second, but not by a lot, guys. This is super strong performance coming from a PC like this. It's very enjoyable, this game, with the NUC XI5. I, I am 
I am very impressed. <laughs> this is really nice. Next up, we got Apex Legends at 1080p resolution using the highest settings aside from this one right here. Let's drop down there and see our frames. And down here, it's getting very high FPS. If you're playing this game at high settings and 1080p resolution, you know, again, this is probably the resolution that you should pair a system like this with 1080p. Uh, you're gonna have an amazing experience. It's actually high refresh rate right now. Wow. There are enemies right there, guys. We got one of them. There's another one right there. Well, a couple of them. A couple of them. They're fighting each other. Wait a second. If I throw a grenade... Eh, this should be great. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Can we get them? Come on. No, no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait. We got him. No, we didn't get him. Okay, I am almost dying, so I'm just gonna run away. There's another one right here. Come on, come on. Can we do this? Maybe. <laughs> I am not doing a very good job here. I think I am pushing my luck a little bit shooting at these guys, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I should be running away and testing the FPS, but, you know, I am feeling it. I am feeling good here with this PC. This is amazing. There's one there. Oh, there are another squ squad here. There are? There is another squad. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. No way. No way. No way. Please, people, don't you kill me. I want to see my ultimate. I think... Oh, okay, there we go. The explosions are here and lots of smoke effects dropping into this the 90s. It's very nice. Okay. <laughs> I am terrified. <laughs> I truly don't understand how I am still alive, guys. I, I have come across like, what, three or four squads, maybe more than that. And we're still alive and I'm playing alone versus them, you know. <laughs> wow. Wait a second. One down here. Come on. Don't, don't you dare, the shotguns. Yep, I don't like that. I don't like that. But uh, why am I healing? I want to reload. There's another one here. Oh, come on. Reload, please. Thank you. I need a bigger uh, magazine there. But we got this. I don't have a lot of shields, though. This is bad. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I am gonna go. And how am I still alive? I don't understand. <laughs> it must be the luck of the minis forum. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I'm screwed. I am very much screwed. I need to go. Otherwise, they'll kill me. Yep. Okay. Well, 130 FPS average, 83 1% lows. Awesome, buttery smooth experience, zero stuttering, guys. Lovely. Next up is the most played game on Steam, CSGO. We're playing this at 1080p resolution using the low settings with high textures and two times MSAA for a competitive advantage. We're playing deathmatch here with all of these people in the server and, uh, well, we are stressing the i5 more than anything else. Damn it, you bastard. Come on, come on. There we go. All right. Gotta get used to this. I don't think this is my sensitivity, but uh, we should be fine. Yep, let's go. No, nope. ah, ran out of bullets there. <laughs> so CSGO was always going to be really, really playable on specs like these. Nobody uh, <laughs> doubted that this can actually play CSGO very, very well. The question was, can it handle 240 hertz uh, monitors and stuff like that? You know, you want sometimes... If you, if you are a very competitive person, you will probably invest on an external monitor, 240 hertz for these games, and it definitely can handle it, guys. It's pretty damn smooth and playable here. Uh, you, you won't really... Ah, damn it. <laughs> he was 1 HP, seriously. We're not really getting like 240 plus FPS all of the time, but remember, in competitive modes, it will not be as CPU intensive, so... It's definitely gonna handle it like a champ there uh, and get 240 plus FPS almost all of the time. And even here in Deathmatch, it's doing an amazing job anyways. Let's go with this. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh yeah, get wrecked, boys. <laughs> there we go. It's working. No, no, come on. No, <laughs> almost. 
All right, with almost 250 FPS on average, this is a competitive experience. Cyberbug 2077 is next. 1080p resolution using high settings with high textures, quality DLSS, and no motion blur. Everything else is set to the default high settings. No ray tracing, it's a bad idea with a GPU like this, by the way. <laughs> and medium crowd density. Okay, 90s around here. That is impressive. We are actually CPU bound in this game, by the way. This is also very CPU intensive, of course, and it's dropping into the 60s, like 69 was the lowest, I think. That's that's perfect, absolutely amazing experience. <laughs> the LSS actually makes it look a little bit better than native resolution, in my opinion. It makes it sharper, more detailed. I have actually tested it and uh, compared it, and you do get more detail with the LSS on, so I highly recommend it, even though we are uh, CPU bound. And around this roundabout, or whatever this is, it does drop from 60 frames per second because of the CPU, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be 60 plus all of the time, unfortunately, but, you know, this game is still super playable with, like, 50 plus FPS, which is ultimately what we will get. And it only drops into the 50s in worst case scenarios anyways. High settings also looks really impressive. You could go up to Ultra with DLSS. Uh, on quality as well and get a little bit more utilization out of that 3060 but I think I would stick to high because it already looks really good. Here is the most intensive street for the GPU to handle at least and it's only dropped to 59 frames per second so that's all right. Uh, we, we need to get to a more intensive area. The averages are at 71 and we all know that 71 FPS on average is absolutely terrible because it's very close to 69. Oh yes, I, I totally forgot to kill Bob as well. So, hello Bob, goodbye Bob. That's always my conversation with Bob. Hello and goodbye. Come on Bob, just, just die already, please. I don't have time for this. I need to benchmark more games. Come on. He's crazy. No, you are crazy. You're the one that doesn't die. Can thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Finally. We got him, boys and gals. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 yes. There are people helping us here. That is amazing. Did you see the explosion? The, the FPS during the explosion. I didn't see it. So, yeah. It's fine. It was. It felt smooth anyways. <laughs> well, how am I not dead again? <laughs> I don't understand. I'm taking way too long to die in these first-person shooter games today. This is weird. The sun in this image looks pretty dark. I guess we could say it's dying light. <laughs> so sorry. Okay, let's go. 1080p resolution. The LSS is set to quality. I will actually increase the sharpness here because it looks way better with the sharpness turned up in this game. And uh, I disabled chromatic aberration. I also disabled motion blur and we're using the high settings, DirectX 12 and the synchronous compute as well. Oh, damn. Okay, this is way better than what I was expecting, guys. Uh, hello, zombies. Oh. oh, there we go. Now we got the first stutter of the day. I guess it was loading the zombies, maybe, or the fighting effects. I, I don't know. Let's go. There it is. Oh, that's a bad guy, actually. Stop it. Stop it. Why do I always die in Dying Light 2? Well, it's in the name of the game, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> I want to go to a higher place. Are you serious? How the heck did I fall? Ah, come on, bro. Okay, back up here. All right, all right. Everything is fine. I think it's looking pretty good, the lighting right now, because it's sunset time, but we can't really see it that well, because it's up there. Oh, wait a second. We can actually go up here. Okay, wait. Wait. It's kind of working. Come on, go up. Thank you. Oh, yes. We can take a look at the, the sky here. Eh, that looks terrible, actually. <laughs> Not terrible, but I expected a great sunset here, you know. Oh, look at those 1% loves, though. Can't be disappointed in that. Okay, all right. That was weird. What the heck is this, by the way? What the hell? Did I get stuck in those things there? Leaves. Uh, seriously. All right, let's try to go up. Nope, 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 I'm probably gonna fall. Oh my god, what am I doing? No, no. Whew. I'm actually really impressed with the performance though. 91 frames per second on average is nothing to sneeze at in this game. This is really good looking in my opinion on high. No need to play at like ultra. I actually think there is no ultra preset in this game. Pretty sure. Uh, that the maximum settings are just high with ray tracing enabled. And again, with a 6 gig card, you should definitely not use ray tracing. 
Oh my, the, the sounds of the zombies are a little bit terrifying right now. So many of them, there is a big one right there, you know what? Let's take this fight! Come on! You bastard, I got you! No, I don't. Okay, I am a little bit stuck here in the middle of zombies. No, please stop it, stop it, sir! From Software's Elden Ring is next, 1080p resolution using high settings with no motion blah. This game is actually kept to 60 frames per second, so I really hope to see 60 FPS. And well guys, in this area it is dropping a little bit, well, yeah, into the lower 50s at times. That's a little bit underwhelming, I thought it would go better than this. Please stop killing me, God damn it! I am not used to Elden Ring anymore, okay? 49 right there, huh. Thought it was gonna be better than this. It's a CPU bottleneck because the GPU is not maxed out here. Uh, yeah, this game, I mean, it it should have had some better optimization <laughs> in terms of CPU performance, right? Because we got 60 plus FPS even in, in uh, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered and not in this one for some reason. Look at them three. Come on, Jax. Let's do this. We can fight them bastards, right? Let's go! Damn, damn bastard, it's only one of them. Come on, let's go, we got it! Oh boy, wanna see those uh, fire effects? That should be more GPU intensive. Alright, so basically the 3060 still has a lot more to give in this game. It would definitely be capable of getting 60 FPS all of the time, but well, the CPU isn't. Come on, there we go, not a problem. I oh, that's a big problem, I think. Yeah, but that was a big issue. Guys, the experience here is still pretty decent. You know, the game is super playable with 50 plus FPS or 45 plus, whatever we got. It's just, it could feel a lot better at 60 locked, but uh, nothing we can get, do about it, of course. Let's just go in this direction. This is more of a GPU intensive area with all of this foliage in the forest. And we're getting pretty much the same thing because it's a GPU intensive area. The GPU usage just goes up by a little bit. CPU is still the bottleneck, however, so it still gets us exactly the same FPS as we've seen so far. And now we're playing Call of Duty Warzone, guys, at the 1080p. Oh, I just noticed that the microphone wasn't really recording, so <laughs> let's do this again. I am keeping that other uh, clip, though. We're playing Warzone at 1080p resolution using the high settings with normal textures, because on high uh, it actually goes over the VRAM limits here with 6 gigs. The LSS is set to quality. These are disabled because I don't like their effects. <laughs> <It wrecked. laughs> I'm actually really impressed at this performance, 130 FPS almost on average uh, at 1080p highest settings with the LSS, like if you want more FPS you could still drop it down to low, although you wouldn't really see a major difference because we are actually CPU bound most of the time. You can see that the GPU utilization is not maxed out, it's at like 90-80% at times, uh, which is still very good obviously. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna be a major improvement if you drop the settings, guys. Uh, so this is like as good as it gets almost. Come on, come on. Oh my god, that was close. People here are so good. <laughs> There's one here. Oh my god, why did I shoot him? Oh god damn it, god damn it. This is bad. This is really bad, guys. Come on! <laughs> come on, you, you bastards! <laughs> you bastards! No! <laughs> Okay, at least we're here again. There's one right there. What am I gonna do with the freaking pistol, right? God damn it, I can't even shoot him properly. No! All right, now the mines area is actually way more intensive than other areas in the map. Ooh, dropping into the 70s, 60s. Look at that. Holy crap. Is this intensive and broken? <laughs> but hey, I would definitely still have a blast playing this game like this with these FPS. 100 frames per second is still buttery smooth. You're not going to max out a 144Hz monitor, but it still feels amazing. Way, way better than 60. Out here we get like close to 120 at times, 110s, 120s. It's only in that area where it drops to a concerning level, I guess. It's not bad right here, you know. Oh boy. Come on. Come on, show yourself. No, not another one. Come on, three people here. 
Why? All right, Red Dead Redemption 2 is up next, my friends. <laughs> All right, let's go over the settings first. We're at 1080p resolution using Windows Borderless instead of full screen because full screen made it stutter a little bit. I've seen the same thing with my 2060 and we're using the hardware unboxed optimized settings with quality DLSS. It looks really good like this. All right, so we're all dirty already and uh, we got a ton of water here in strawberry, which is super intense from a lot of you have told me especially when you're using some water physics that's really intensive in this game but apparently it's doing a really good job here not a problem hello guy how's it going I'm so sorry about that uh, roach get over here boy roach come on <laughs> get out of the way people what are you doing please so as you can see this is not really a problem for a 3060 slash i5 11 400 h combo it's really smooth and playable really gorgeous as well this is a game that you should definitely pick up with specs like these like this is a beautiful gorgeous game and with an amazing story so don't miss out on red dead redemption 2 if you have these specs guys it's gonna run amazingly actually let's see this forest right here it, it seems to be a, a more dense forest but uh, yeah pretty much the same thing we just get gpu maxed out almost and uh, no cpu bottlenecks in these areas amazing stuff guys now it's time to visit jackets gta 5 we're playing at 1080p resolution four times msaa using the very high settings it's not completely maxed out grass quality could go higher as well as the post effects setting but post effects introduces motion blur and grass quality on ultra is just a waste of frames per second in my opinion everything's turned off right here and let's do this these are like my custom settings for this game they look really good in my opinion and they still get you a ton of effort FPS. We will definitely see super high frame rates in this one. Let's do this! Come on, get out of the way. Goddamn bastard. Oh, he actually died. Okay, let's go. Alright, he got what he deserved because he interrupted the benchmark for a little bit. Anyways, let's stop talking about that. Let's start talking about how bad I am at driving. Shall we? <laughs> Alright, anyways, we're getting like 100 to 120 frames per second most of the time and we are once again cpu bound but it doesn't really matter because it's still getting very high frames per second especially for a single player title like gta 5 which also has multiplayer and in multiplayer it will get way lower fps because of the cpu by the way uh, yeah that that will be for a future video okay let's try not to hit anybody here we're doing a really good job at that wow what the hell how am i managing to not hit them okay <laughs> i am surprised i am driving well today okay all right one one is all right it's just a mistake you know everybody runs over somebody uh, once in their lifetime right time for the most intensive area dropping down into the 70s and 80s which with four times msaa is very impressive actually hello jack how's it going buddy all good yes yes sir uh, he actually talked to us a little bit, but he was so quiet today. Just like the mini PC is very quiet. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So inside of the bushes, wow, it's not dropping too much. I am very impressed with that. Goodbye, Bob. I don't think he died, though. Oh, he did. Wait, let's just make sure. All right, now he's dead. <laughs> As expected, GTA 5 is super damn smooth. This is amazing, guys. It's an older title, of course, so it's not really that intensive anymore. Uh, but yeah, it's very well optimized. It looks amazing still today, and it's still very, very popular. But yeah, we gotta remember that. What the actual hell? It is using four times MSAA. Without it, we'd get more FPS. Well, kind of not really, because the CPU is a bottleneck already, but that is a very intensive option. So it's great to see these FPS. And now we're playing Stutter Knight at 1080p resolution, DLSS quality, high settings preset, and DirectX 11, because DirectX 12 is completely broken, but so is DirectX 11, apparently. You know, if I didn't know that the stutters were a feature in this game, I, I would be very disappointed in it. <laughs> what is this, by the way? What the heck? Oh, nice. Okay, wait a second. Oh, this is cool. All right, let's start counting our FPS here. Maybe down here it's actually less uh, uh, intensive, you know, and it stutters less. You know? Oh, God. The 8 FPS, 1% lows. That's absolutely uh, awesome, right? It's awesome because it's it's like this. This game... It, 
It's a feature once again, okay? Now I know that after like two or three games, this game becomes smoother and smoother, but who the heck wants to play a game and spends like an hour just waiting for the stutters to be gone and uh, putting up with this crap. And somebody out there will probably say that, oh, I, I don't really stutter whatsoever in this game. Well, that's because if you don't, if you play this game a lot, and if you don't, oh, come on, what the hell, this needs to reload? Uh, this is a bot, so it sh we should be fine, guys. Oh, come on. Seriously. All right, there we go. As I was saying, if you play this game a lot and you don't update your drivers very often, uh, there will be a point where you get into the game and it's actually pretty smooth already. You don't need to wait an hour for it to be smooth. Hello, Jack, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you here, buddy. <laughs> but whenever you install new drivers, it's stutter night all over again. Every single time I test games in the channel here, uh, I install the newest drivers from scratch. So I can never, ever play Fortnite without stuttering. Is that, is that a guy? Yes, it is. Okay, it's probably a bot though. He's not caring about me whatsoever and he's missing everything and moving like a bot. Hello? Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Jax! Stop it! Stop it! Go away! Go away, Jack! Why? Everything is a little bit blinky, you know? The, 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 what the? That wasn't a bot. <laughs> but yeah, I could see the shadows blinking a little bit there. Maybe because of DLSS, I don't know. But uh, overall, it looks really good with DLSS anyways, so I recommend it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is up next. Very intensive game. 1080p resolution, 100% resolution scale using the high settings preset with depth of field and motion blur disabled. Oh, what the actual hell? This is really good. Holy crap, okay, okay, this is high settings at 1080p, extremely good performance, and as usual, I'm using the built-in benchmark run in this game, because it's very accurate compared to what you will actually experience in this one, and wow, it's looking really good on high settings, I first tried it on very high, by the way, and it was dropping from 60 a lot, so uh, I chose the high settings preset instead, and I'm glad I, I did, because this looks very similar. It, it, you can actually notice the difference between very high and high, but honestly, it still looks incredibly good here. And the performance is way better. It's 60 plus FPS all of the time, basically, at high settings and 1080p. So, amazing performance coming from the 3060 mobile in this one. The CPU is also doing a pretty good job. Slightly bottlenecking it because the GPU utilization is fluctuating a little bit, but... Once again, there is no issues with CPU bottlenecks, you know, it's just a normal thing in PC gaming um, and as long as the FPS are good and stable, everything is fine, right? And that is definitely the case here in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Oh yes, time for Forza Horizon 5, my friends, and we're playing this one at the 1080p resolution using Ultra Settings preset, alright, not extreme, because I prefer Ultra usually, okay? It's it still looks amazing on ultra settings and you get way more performance. It's once again surpassing my desktop RTX 2016 performance, which is pretty great. And oh my Jesus. Okay. All right. We still got both mirrors, I think. Yes, we do. So everything is fine. All right, guys. That, that was just a minor inconvenience, right? I like... Who doesn't do that every once in a while in real life, right? All right, it's city time and it is dropping into the lower 70s. Not bad. Very similar to the 2060 here in this scenario, actually. I wonder, is it the VRAM limitation? Because uh, it's at 5.8 gigabytes of VRAM usage. It might actually be maxed out, but it's not a problem still because the performance is still very, very good. Let's get out of the tunnel. This is the most intensive thing ever. 61 FPS there. So it doesn't drop ever from 60 frames per second, which is extremely nice in a game like this. And my friends, it is finally conclusion time. I really enjoyed taking a look at the NUC X i5 mini gaming PC or NUX i5, NUX, how do you say it? I don't, I should have asked. <laughs> but yeah, the gaming performance is just amazing coming out of this thing. The 3060 laptop GPU over here is pretty damn good for 1080p gaming as I expected. And the i5 kept up pretty well 
even in the most intensive titles. It's super quiet. Like, even with the turbo button enabled, this must have been one of the quietest gaming PCs that I've ever tested. So that's very impressive. And it sits quite well on, like, a living room for a PS5 replacement or something like that. As well as on the desk, of course. It also looks really nice and clean in that regard, especially if you use it with wireless peripherals. Really like this one. I will definitely keep it and use the SD card slot and test more games on it at more resolutions and stuff like that. So stay tuned in for that. And as always, catch you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye bye